Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage and this week we're talking about the Shimano MW501s. As someone who trains outdoors all year round, I needed a shoe that would help me deal with the sloppy conditions and colder temperatures. So when it came time to replace my old specialized defrosters, I decided to check out these Shimanos. So far I have a few months of riding in them and I've been quite impressed. And while these are marketed as an all-weather mountain bike shoe, I found they work great on my road bike as well. With their waterproof membrane and isolated fleece liners, these could be the perfect three-season shoe. But before I get too carried away, let's go over the specs. In a men's size 9 with cleats installed, the MW501s weighed in at 944 grams. The bottom half of the shoe is made with Shimano's Dry Shield technology which is designed to keep the heat in and moisture out. The synthetic leather gives its structure and durability and the heel and toe box also have additional overlays to provide more protection. You'll also notice small perforations on the top and slightly larger ones on the side to help with ventilation. The top half of the shoe is surrounded by neoprene and extends well past the ankle. The padded tongue is fully gusseted on both sides and extends well past the lacing system. And speaking of the laces, the shoes can be cinched down using Shimano's speed lacing system. Once you have the desired fit, attach the inner half of the neoprene to the top of the tongue. Tuck the laces down and pull the lace cover over them. Finally, take the other half of the upper and secure the Velcro to the outside of the shoe. On the inside, the lower half of the shoe is completely lined with a soft padded fleece. The insole also has the same fleece top and the underside is built with a dense foam material to provide more comfort and insulation from the bottom. Although I couldn't find a stiffness rating, the rubber sole is quite rigid both side to side and front to back. The deep lugs provide plenty of traction without getting in the way of the cleats. Finally, the shoe has plenty of reflective panels along the sides, the back, and over the laces, making them visible at night. So now that we've covered all the specs, let's get into my likes. These shoes are warm. I haven't gotten much snow here yet, but the temps have often dipped down below freezing and my feet never get cold. Whether I'm out on the road bike where the speeds are much greater, or I'm out smashing some technical downhills on the mountain bike, my feet always stay toasty and warm. And when the temps do dip into the 20s, all I have to do is slip a toe warmer into the shoe and I'm good to go. This time of year also presents one of the most tricky situations in freeze thaw. Not only have the shoes stayed dry when the trail conditions were less than optimal, but they also breathe well. I'm not sure what kind of technology they're using to keep the water out and yet still allow the sweat to evaporate, but it's incredible. Another thing that's impressed me is the construction of the shoe. At 944 grams, these feel light on the feet and still provide plenty of rigidity if I need to stand up and crank down on the power. And while these shoes are light, it doesn't come at the cost of durability. The synthetic leather in combination with the overlays provides plenty of protection when I'm riding through difficult terrain. I've slammed my toes into rocks and have had to bail quite a few times on some challenging features and these shoes have taken some abuse and held up well. In fact, if we take a closer look at the overlays, you can see they're scuffed up quite a bit, which is actually good because that means they're doing their job at protecting the shoe. Now you would think that having a shoe this stiff and durable would be uncomfortable to wear, but it's actually quite the opposite. My mountain bike rides frequently last over four hours and my feet never feel fatigued or sore afterwards. And that goes for both on and off the bike. The tread on the bottom of the shoe is robust and it feels great when I have to get off to check out a feature or walk the bike for any reason. Lockdown is secure and feels good when using the speed lacing system. The gusseted tongue in combination with the lace cover do an excellent job of keeping the debris and moisture from getting in. And while I don't know how long these shoes will last, I've had good luck with Shimano shoes in the past and I expect to get at least three or four seasons out of them. Which is a lot if you think of this as a three season shoe. So what are the drawbacks? Well, the first one's really tough to advise you on, but in the past, I've typically sized up for my winter shoes to accommodate for thicker socks. So when it came time to order these MW501s, I went up one size and that was a mistake. I think the sizing purposely runs a little big, so my advice to you would not be to size up when buying these. If you're lucky enough to have a local shop that have these in stock, I would try them out first. The second issue is with the lacing system and to be clear, they do work great. But I've had several pair of Shimanos with the same lacing system, so I know over time they tend to fray. But eventually when they do break down, you can swap them out inexpensively with a replacement lace kit, which will cost you about $10. And while I plan on using this as a three season shoe, it's important to point out that if you live in a climate where the temperatures frequently drop into the teens and below zero, these shoes probably won't cut it. Instead, you'll have to opt for a more robust winter shoe like these heavy duty lakes. 
finally the design. This is a personal preference, but I always find Shimano's designs to be on the conservative safe side, and to make matters worse, they only come in one colorway. For me, the benefits far outweigh the lack of flair, so it's not a big deal, but it's something to think about. Another thing to consider is the price. At $200, these aren't cheap, but keep in mind you won't be wearing these shoes all the time, so they should last quite a bit longer than your typical shoe. And comparatively speaking, they're right in line with other shoes of this caliber. If you're interested in checking out a pair, I'll leave a link in the description below. It won't cost you anything to use that link, but it helps me to continue to make these reviews. So if you're looking for an all-weather three-season shoe, put these Shimano MW501s on your short list. The lightweight and comfort make them ideal for long days in the saddle, and they've held up great in the tough terrain that I've been testing them on. And if you're someone who uses a road bike to train outdoors, I found them to be equally as efficient as my road shoes while providing some wind protection and keeping me warm. Having used mine for over a few months now, I would have no problem recommending these shoes to anyone. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe or join now for some extra perks. Thanks for watching. Okay, testing, testing. Mike looks like it's level. And here is the shoe. I hold it like this. The shoes can be cinched down using sh The shoes can be sh can be cinched down using sh It's so loud today. It is ridiculous. If you the gusseted tongue the gusseted tongue tongue the gusseted tongue and why is this so weird? Which is a lot if you think of this as a three th three season shoe. Which is a lot if you think of this as a three th three season shoe three three th Three thief and thief 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 thief. And to be clear, they work great. Dumpster. And to be clear, they do work. What is it? National Truck Day? I can't. Come on, let's finish this strong, baby. Woo! I'm ready for the first blooper. Yikes. My videographer for today. Well, uh, you haven't seen the video yet. <laughs> your fingers in the lens the whole time. No, I think I might. <laughs> I might your head You're like, it looks great, Sage.